morning class, now that you know what an analog clock is and what a digital clock is and why they're important, I am now going to teach you how to tell time on an analog clock. So just a few things that we need to review fast. This is called the clock's face, just like my face and your face. These are the clock's hands, just like we have two hands, so does our clock. The shorter hand is the hour hand and the blue hand is the minute hand. Now for right now, we're just going to focus on this hour hand. Wherever this red hand points, that is the hour it is. So if the red hand is pointing here, we know that the hour is eight. Okay. If it's here, it's nine and 10. So we always look at the hour hand first to tell us what, what, what the hour is. So right now the hour hand is pointed on 10. So now we're going to look at the blue minute hand. And if the blue minute hand is pointing straight up high up at the, up at the 12, we know that it's o'clock. So we'd say that this, we'd read this time like this, 10 o'clock. Let me go around. <gasps> Let's look at our hour hand first. It's one. Oh, my minute hand's pointing straight up, so it's o'clock. So one o'clock. <gasps> Here's my new time. Look at my hour hand. It's pointing to my four. And my minute hand is pointing straight up top of the 12, so it's four o'clock. Now you try. I'm turning my clock. I wonder what it's going to say. Okay, here we go, class. What time is it? If you said seven o'clock, you are correct. Give yourself a pat on the back. Okay, let's try it again. Class, what time is it? If you said it's 11 o'clock, you are correct because the hour hand is pointing on the 11. The blue hand is pointing straight up at the 12. So it is 11 o'clock. Let me do one more. All right, here we go, class. So now we have what time? What time is it, class? If you answered two o'clock, you are correct. Okay, now class, for this part, I'm gonna need you to pause the video and go and get your homemade clock that you made that has the carousel horse on it. Okay, you should have your clock in front of you. I'm gonna give you a couple of different times and I want you to make them on your clock. Here is the first time. Everybody, please show me the time. Five o'clock. If you need to pause this video so you can make it, that's just fine. But please show me on your clock, five o'clock. Okay, class, if your clock looks like this, then you are correct. The little hand should be pointing on the five and the big long minute hand should be pointing straight up at the 12, so it's o'clock. Five o'clock. All right, are you ready for your next time? The next time that I'd like you to show me is nine o'clock. Please show me nine o'clock on your clock. If you need to pause this video, go ahead and pause it so you can change your clock to read nine o'clock. All right, my class, if your clock looks like this, then you are correct. The little hand's pointing at the nine, the big hand's pointing up at the 12, uh, straight up top at the 12. So we know that it is nine o'clock. Here's our very last one. Class, please show me the time three o'clock. Okay, show me your clocks in three, two, one. 
Does your clock match mine? If it does, give yourself another pat on the back. That's fantastic. Now you did such a good job on these ones that I think that you're ready for a super duper challenge. Class, please make your clock read 12 o'clock. Okay, show me your clocks in three, two, one. If your clock looks like this, then you are correct. Now, my hand, if I move it just a little bit, you'll see that my, that my red hour hand is pointing up at my 12. My minute hand is pointing at the 12, 12 as well. So it's 12 o'clock. Nice work on showing time on your analog clock and being able to tell time on your analog clock. If this is still tricky for you, you can watch this video more than one time and you can keep practicing.